Hi, today we have Jason Barnard, president and CEO of Foremost Clean Energy, which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol FMST. Jason, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me, Craig. Tell us about Foremost. Um, thanks. Foremost Clean Energy is a uranium, a high-grade uranium exploration and development company which, which has assets in northern Saskatchewan in the prolific Athabasca Basin. Um, Penn Properties, Discovery Ready, Drill Ready Properties in the Athabasca Basin, which is often referred to as the Saudi Arabia of uranium because of its high, high grades, sometimes 10 to 100 times the grades in the rest of the world. Foremost Clean Energy also has a partner, Denison Mines, who is a strategic shareholder that owns 20% of the company. We did a transformational deal with Denison for these 10 properties. They have taken a seat, two seats on our board, including the CEO uh, of, of Denison Mines, the $1.5 billion uh, uranium developer. We are drilling and exploring with our recent $10.5 million financing. Uh, Denison took $1.8 million of that. We together are backed by Denison technically and financially. And I look forward to uh, delivering news. We recently had news where we hit in our inaugural drill program uh, on a step out discovery at Hatchet Lake. And we will be spending $6.5 million um, financed, fully financed drilling this year on our 10 properties. Jason, let me ask now about small modular reactors, SMRs. They are gaining traction as a scalable clean energy solution. How is Foremost positioning itself to capture this powerful trend? And what role would uranium play in enabling that future? Greg, uranium is the fuel that goes into nuclear power, small nuclear reactors, and nuclear power plants. And nuclear power is one of the biggest megatrends on the planet. It's going to grow exponentially because of AI and tech companies with their data-hungry data centers. So it's in vogue, there's a bit of a renaissance in nuclear power, and how uh, Foremost will uh, benefit its shareholders is by delivering on that demand. So we know the demand is going to go, go, go. And what we will do is we will add to the supply chain of uranium and bring that on stream in order to meet that demand and make money for our shareholders. You mentioned the Athabasca Basin in Saskatchewan, yet that is one of the world's richest uranium districts. And of course, Foremost has assembled one of the largest uranium exploration portfolios there. How does the partnership with Denison Mines, that $2 billion uranium developer, help de-risk the investment opportunity for shareholders? Well, the collaboration with Denison Mines greatly de-risks for investors' investment into Foremost because it gives us that credibility. It also gives us technical uh, help, so technically and financially. Denison Mines uh, is a deep-pocketed uranium developer, and they have $350 million in cash and cash equivalents. Recently, we did a $10.5 million financing. They took $1.8 million of that financing, so they're going to be there keeping us financed to keep the drills turning as we are are going to be their exploration arm on the NASDAQ, and we will be in charge of delivering their next discovery and next mine. Now, Jason, research shows that there is a structural deficit in the uranium commodity. Could you speak to the broader uranium opportunity and explain to us why Foremost Clean Energy is well-positioned for investors today? Well, Craig, uranium is in a secular bull market. Uranium uh, that supplies the fuel for nuclear power um, is currently in a supply deficit. There's a, a, a need for about 160 million pounds, and we're only producing about 120 pounds. So there's a structural supply deficit. Uranium has moved up about 150% in the last three years, but I feel it's just in the first inning of its secular bull market. So great timing for any new investors. And what you will see. Um, uh, with with the Denison Mines, they're bringing production in 
uh, in the Athabasca Basin. And with us, we will bring in uh, discoveries for their pipeline of discoveries. Jason, what catalysts can investors expect over the next six to 12 months? Well, uh, catalysts have a lot to do with drilling. That's where we create value uh, for investors. So most recently, we hit uh, a discovery in an mineralization, uranium mineralization in our step out, a 15 meter intersection. Recently, historically, we have uh, had uh, from previous drill programs 2% on those properties. We stepped out and we hit a discovery. So watch for drilling. We have a $6.5 million drill program fully financed. So there won't be any dilutive finances coming up for drilling. And uh, watch throughout the year for, for drilling. Also, watch for headlines because we know the Trump administration likes uranium nuclear power and watch for more big spends by high tech companies as they try to get ready for those data centers. And we start to see that come back on the scene once the tariffs have settled in and, and once the deep sea has settled in. You'll see there'll be lots of headlines that create an, tailwinds in the uranium and the nuclear power sector. Final question, Jason. What's the essential value proposition? Why should investors take an interest in foremost clean energy right now? Well, the value proposition is you have so many tailwinds. You have uranium in a secular bull market, uh, uranium with a structural de supply deficit. So great tail tailwinds. You have uh, drilling. So the value, uh, you know, when you hit a discovery in the Athabasca Basin, you're surrounded by mines. You're surrounded by infrastructure. They've been mining there since the 1960s. We're about to uh, keep drilling. We hit on hatchet. We're going to drill Murphy Lake. Murphy Lake is uh, uh, within proximity of the highest uranium uh, graded mine or deposit in the world. And that being uh, ISO Energy's hurricane deposit. That is 48 million pounds of 34.5% uranium. If you want to compare that to the rest of the world, the average uh, percentage in the world is 0.2. So you can see what we're looking for there. So pay attention to drilling, pay attention to highlights in the uranium space and a move in the commodity. We certainly will, Jason. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you.